Hello from Blair Athol. Hiya pals. It's the uh, Dynamic Duo, we're back out. Yeah. We're off for a well camp. We're doing two very remote Corbett's, Ben Vreck and Leah and Tuovin. Yeah, I think I've pronounced them both right. So we've got the bikes to break up the walk a little bit and I'll bring you back fuller up this track. Definitely glad we took the bikes this time. Yes, it was a good decision, wasn't it? Yeah. And there it is, there's the boffy. I'm back again. Looks like somebody stayed over, which they're not really meant to during Covid, but hey ho. Right, we just left the boffy about five, ten minutes ago and uh, there's a path over to Brewer Lodge, but it's a bit of a bog fest at the moment. So we're just pushing the bikes. We could leave the bikes at the boffe, but it doesn't give us the option that we want for tomorrow morning, which is cycling out from Brewer Lodge down to Calvin. Uh, so it's two kilometers on this rough path, back on our track for a kilometer, and then we dump the bikes. So this is a uh, what we're trying to get over now. Kevin's attempting to cycle. Oh, didn't last very long though. <laughs> no. Say your boss. His quick release lever came loose and nearly sent him flying. It's no one, right? Nearly sent me to the moon. Fly me to the moon and back if you'll be. Can I take this laddie anyway? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Righty oh, there's Brewer Lodge in the distance there. We are aiming for that next quarry just a little bit further on and we'll go up there. We're making a bit of a meal of this. The path wasn't up too much, so we've came up a bit early. The river's a bit swollen from last night, so just try to find somewhere to get across. All right, we've made it to the Brewer Lodge, and also we're getting a traditional Highland welcome. Welcome with the yappy thing up there. Well, that was a bit of a full path. We should have probably stuck to the path because I'm like pushing up and down back there, but we're, we're here. To a path anyway. <laughs> nah. It's 11 o'clock now, so we've lost a little bit of time. Ah, not too much. Nah. Been another, what, nine hours of daylight, if not mm, ten hours, in fact. It's getting dark about nine now. Calm down, you're all right. You're all right, son. Shh. Give me, boy. It's now time to part company with the bikes. That stalker's path up there. That's our gateway to Mamba Land. If you're wondering what Mamba Land is, it stands for miles and miles of bugger all. And when we get higher up, I'll show you exactly what that means. What's the time, Kev? Best time of the day. Okay, what time that is? Rap o'clock. Gordon Ramsay, aka Robin Wallace. You need a jingle to go with these macro Making rats. it special. Macro, macro. It's time for macro rap. If there's any YouTube viewers out there that can write a song about our macro rap, feel free to message Robin.
we were on a, a really good stalker's path and we've kind of lost it now it got us up to about 700 metres and now it's just looking a bit barren Right, so dead ahead you've got Ben Vreck, that's our target and it says we are 3.9 kilometres away, that's not too bad but this path's going to peter out at some point into the bad lads. Into the bad lands, aye. Bad the bad lads. <laughs> the bad lads. Probably bad lads in the bad lands. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you can see there's a little gap, grassy break there. We're going to go up that. And we looked on the map and we don't really lose much height on the other side. So we contour around and then start heading up the slopes of Ben Vreck. So we're getting there. Just when you think you're making good progress, you get hit. With the peat hags. Then we need to figure out a way across this. I'll give you 50 quid if you jump in. I'll give you a hunter if you jump in. <laughs> that hit me. <laughs> There's Ben Vreck looking much closer than it did a wee while back. So I'm happy with the progress. What's the time, Kev? Not wrap o'clock, obviously. The real time. 25 past 1 He's a muppet <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, the one thing I've noticed about this place is it's devoid of anything No trees Not much in the way of wildlife I've seen a dotterel and some meadow pipits but no birds of prey yet We did see quite a few deer earlier on but they're everywhere in Scotland, there's too many of them. Right, according to my altimeter watch, we're at 685 metres. I've checked it off against the GPS and it's like four metres out, so that's pretty good. Ben Vreck is 912, so rough math, so it's at about 230 metres to go. And about just over a kilometre in distance, so let's get more up this bad boy. It took us just over six hours from when we left the car, and as you can see, you can see exactly why we call it Mamba Land. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Very bleak and desolate. It's fantastic, it's wide open, so desolate. So that's us um, heading off now. Very strange, a woman just appeared from nowhere, sat and chatted to us at the at the summit there. Now she's ran off and she's away to do the Munro's. Kevin and I just actually startled a juvenile golden eagle and sod's law by the time you get the camera out <coughs> it flew away. There's Ben Vreck where we've just been. We came down here and across to here and we're on this little unnamed top. If the terrain stays like this We'll make quick progress, but I can just see all those peat hags ahead and I think we'll have to go towards that. Our progress has been hindered somewhat here. The terrain is not in our favour. This is what we've got. Lovely. Rough, boggy, peaty terrain. So it slowed us down and we're getting tired. It's 20 to 4. I know this is slightly cheating asking someone who speaks fluent Gaelic how to pronounce something but it had to be done, so here it is Liat and Tuvin Liat and Tuvin Liat and Tuvin So that's where we're going next Anyway, keeping entertained by Earworm and Kevin with Baby Shark and Thomas the Tank Engine and other random tunes Oh, we'll go Black Beauty. Oh, we'll go Black Beauty now. Do 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 do
Don't remember that. Cartoon before my, with a big golden eagle. With a big... Before my time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never ending story. Na 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 na. Right, guys, I'll bring you back. We're uh, singing crap songs now. And, uh, Alrighty folks, we're now on the top called Glass Leha Feshi and this is literally the last top we've got to do we dropped down to about 750 metres and then back up to the Corvette so both of us are struggling a wee bit now though, I have to admit could be another macro wrap to get us here We made it. Bloody hell. That was the toughest three hours of hiking I've done in a long time. Between here and Ben Vreck. It was just. Tourist pass, eh? oh, absolute rough, up and down rough. Aye. That was days today. Pete Hags, ups, downs, bog, squelch. It was just gave you everything. It was bloody torture. But we're here. What time's it? 20 past 5 It's looking a bit dodgy with the clouds though We could actually summit camp here, it's looking flat enough Right folks I'm pitched, Kev's just about there I didn't do any tent b-roll because We were just worried this rain's going to engulf us, it seems to be Coming around to all directions And my GoPro battery's got about 5% left in it so If I disappear just now you'll know why First summit camp in a while, at 912 metres, a whole two metres short of Munro height. Not impressed, we had to descend 100 metres for water, but we've got it, that's the main thing. <laughs> to save a little bit of weight and space, I decided not to bring my little table with me, and I found this perfectly flat rock, so that was a bit of a Brucey bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see this. You know how I've not bored with my wee camping table and I went with the, the rock there? Well, wait till you see the Nicky Kevin's wee table here. Let's see your wild cascade Roland, table, Kev. I don't think um, these little tables are suited to my cooking. <laughs> this is funny. Thing is, I've actually used it before, eh? Let's see. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> is that melted on? <laughs> Aye. The thing is, I'm, I'm cooking it longer, so I'm cooking pasta, so it's obviously sitting on the table for longer. So obviously I've spilled some, but that wouldn't make much of a difference, eh? Jeez, oh, it's gone right through. <laughs> 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 you should cut right around it and just keep it as an extra... Okay, what you should do, just put gaffer tape under there. Be good as new. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, you should send a picture to Valley and Peak, see if he'll give you another <laughs> do you one. give me a table for free? <laughs> Alright folks, Kev's take over here, it's been a while eh, you know what I mean? Robin, who even gave me the chance? Shocking eh? Tough day by the way. <laughs> it's been a tough day, it was actually about half an hour ago we were in the clag, it was proper clag. Wee bit of drizzle, but as you can see, the views are simply stirring, it's opening up. Sunshine over Perthshire. Over Shihalian. There's my soul. Clearing up, we might even actually get a wee cheeky sunset as well. That would be nice. That would be lovely. There's that Corbett we did, um, December, what was the name of it, Robin? Carn Jerick Moore. Carn Jerick Moore a few years ago, eh? Link in the video in the right hand corner. Yes. <laughs> It's clearing up down there as well. Tough day, like, proper tough day, like. It was very, very. The terrain was very difficult. Yes. Well, folks, the sunset is happening right about now, and there's absolutely nothing to see. We are currently clagged in, so. It's 25 past nine, so probably just go to bed. Very little wind, so I'm hoping to get a decent sleep.
Um, but otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the morning. See you later. Good morning, campers. It's um, seven o'clock, and uh, it rained pretty much all through the night. But the wind was like really light, so I slept pretty much all the way through that, apart from getting up once about half one in the morning. I woke up really cold. It was only about seven degrees, not exactly freezing, but I was hungry as well, so I had a I had my uh, what you call it trek bar, and uh, I fell right back asleep again after that. You're just getting ready to break camp now. What's the time, Kev? No, too early for macro like. <laughs> Somebody was asking me on Instagram last night what pegs I use. It's these bad boys here. They're the Easton Nano Stakes, and that's the nine inch version. Yep, as always, leave no trace. Although I must admit, we've left a slight pattern in the grass. So, uh, <laughs> I do apologise. But no, seriously, please leave no trace when you're out camping, whether it's by the road or up in the wilds or wherever. It's not hard, just clean up after you. We're um, just heading for the Minigig Pass at the moment and that is our route back to the bikes. So we've picked up the Minigig Pass. Seems to be these little markers every so often. So let's go. Eight kilometers to the bike. This here marks the highest point of the Minigig. And then we're going to start dropping height down to the track where our bikes are. So the time's quarter past ten and the bikes are about three and a half kilometres away. I imagine we'll grab a wrap at some point because I'm getting pretty hungry now. Almost at the, the fence where we left the bikes yesterday, and I think I can see both there. Fingers crossed. Really can't see anybody pinching bikes out here. Seems a good point to wrap up the video now. So if you watched this far, thank you very much. So it's a good bye from me and uh from him. Catch you later.